seems to me we have fallen into a great deal of uh, misguidance when it comes to our dreams and aspirations. Those of us who grow up to believe that everything has a middle ground, when in reality it doesn't. There is no second place. And unfortunately, this applies to a lot of things in life. We all have our ideal life planned in our head, pictured in our dreams, how we would seek to live out the rest of our days. The ideal version of our family, house, wealth, success. Who's to say others don't dream the same things you seek? In my experience, and what I see, those who deserve shall be rewarded. I mean, in your current situation right now and what you're doing in life right now, honestly, do you feel like you deserve everything you seek for? I certainly don't. And I could try and be the best in uh, music or MMA, anything. But do I deserve it? Do I put in enough work to earn that? Yeah, I, I can, I probably can see someone who has everything I wanna be. You probably would too. We would all feel some type. Damn, they really got that. Everything I've ever wanted, they have. What are you gonna sit there, jealous? It's cowardly. truth as old as, well, as much history as I've researched into myself. Those who deserve win. Those who deserve get what they dream for. Now it's up to you to figure out what to work towards to get what you so seek, to deserve the life you wish for. Things just don't come easy on a platter. Your dream body, you need to work for it. You don't deserve to just have it. It ain't yours yet. You gotta go get it. And it doesn't mean that because you're falling behind in life that it's impossible. I mean, yeah, things could be at limits depending on certain stuff. Things could be, you know, not to full potential depending on stuff. But it's the trying that counts. It's the trying that counts. Because at the end of this day, when we all cease to exist and the very ideas we are thinking of and memories we are intaking through our senses at once perish, our thoughts and memories, who knows what happens to them? No one else is living it but you. And if you can't do now what you're going to be proud of on your deathbed, then you don't deserve your dream life. It's a pretty harsh topic, I know. And uh, there's a lot to think about, but nothing can be handed to you. And you need to really deserve what you want in life. So, just take one foot, put it after the other, and keep going. No matter how much setbacks you have, the person who tries the most deserves the best. Now, there are people who are gonna be more successful than you. There are gonna be people who are more deserving than you. But, doesn't mean you don't give it your all to become more deserving than them.
Life will be hard until you deserve a better life. So you gotta work towards it. Not sit around and mope and complain about how life could be better. Where is that gonna get you? Where is that going to get you? You're not gonna end up getting it. There's no handouts. You gotta deserve it. You gotta put in the work. Apply to that job. Seek that career. Go to the gym. Read books. Learn about life. Advance and prove yourself. That's a harsh reality I had to learn the hard way. And you could put yourself up on a pedestal and think that you're the best you can be. There's always gonna be someone more deserving than you. So you always gotta be 10 times better than how you are right now. And when you, when you achieve it all, once you achieve it all, it doesn't stop. That's the catch. You must continue to earn what you've already worked for. Because if you don't, then you lose it. You see? The more you need, the more you work for, the more you get. Vice versa for the opposite. So, in the ideas of life and pushing forward a step out of the societal zone of this kind of concept. Let's say there was no society. Let's say you wasn't working. You're, let's say you're not working towards a house. You're not working towards the perfect dream, the perfect career. You wasn't pushing towards to be the best at your hobby. Let's put this in a more survival situation basis. Do you deserve to live? What is it that you've done for yourself? In a world where there was no societal structure, the hierarchy was purely animalistic. Who deserves to survive more? Who deserves to procreate? The ones who work harder, the ones who are better. So why are you slacking? If you are even. If you're not, then you're probably still slacking. Because out of the amount of stuff that I've done, I'm still slacking. I'm still behind. I'm not there yet. I'm not as close as I thought I was going to be a year ago. And that's purely my fault. I don't deserve it yet. Doesn't mean that I gotta stop working for it. Do you deserve to eat? How hard do you work for your food? In and out of society, growing, working hard to buy. sitting on your ass all day and you think life's just going to be handed to you then hope it's not too late when you figure out it doesn't and for those of you who are still on the grind who understand the balance between peaceful relaxation and uh, working towards what you feel you deserve you're heading in the right direction. I'm there with you. And uh, for those who seek to be that way, it's not impossible. It's easy once you figure out how to. It's not about how hard it is. It's about the knowledge too. And I believe in you. And I know that 
one day you'll be able to just keep trying and don't stop well if I do decide to upload this I hope you guys enjoy Thank <laughs> you.